<coughs> oh my god excuse me good morning happy monday it is it's monday <laughs> i think it's like 9 9 15 i woke up around 8 um but i just got out of bed got ready and by like ready i mean i literally just put on um the oh my god what is it called um the elf like glowy sunscreen like the super group dupe um and then did my eyebrows and curled my lashes which like you can't even i feel like you can't even tell that now but i am obviously in a swimsuit i'm getting ready to go my friend should be here like probably around 10 and we're gonna go swimming um in a town that's like a little bit away because i really want to go and grab coffee be espresso beans from there because they're like my favorite espresso beans that i have and i think actually they might be able to grind them up for me which that would be great um but like i don't i haven't found any good places down in north carolina that i like but i love like the coffee roaster roaster I like the coffee company that is up here um also i really need to like i haven't worn this swimsuit before i really need to cut this because it's like thick and not comfortable but i'm like leaving it out so i can remember because that would suck if i forgot um but yeah that's so that's that for now we're gonna stop and grab coffees and i'm gonna grab my espresso beans and then we're gonna go swimming for a little bit and then i have to come back do have to make an errand. I have to go downtown and get something. And then I have to do some laundry. I don't have to do laundry, but I would prefer to. I have to do laundry and pack. I checked in for my flight this morning and that, I literally got the worst seat on the first flight. I should have, when I saw that that was like the only one open, I should have just waited to check in until later. I got a middle seat in the last row of the plane have a moment of silence that is like literally the worst seat at least it's early enough my flight's literally at six so like i'm hopefully just gonna sleep for like 45 minutes and then be good like i think it's like an hour 45 minutes or an hour flight so but the flight is like full except for like a couple of the seats like the exit rows and then the seats that you like a few other seats that you'd have to pay for yeah i'm excited to go swimming because i haven't really been swimming like in something but besides a pool not a, i haven't been to a beach but we're not it's not really a beach it's like a little reservoir like lake type thing oh i guess i'll give like a little haul so i went i did some shopping like last week when i got here i don't even know if this looks good on me and my hair is kind of crazy but i got a bucket hat this was like literally five dollars at h m it was on sale i have some pretty like plain um earrings like hoops from target but they honestly do hurt my ears a little bit and because they're definitely not like the best quality and i don't know if these are gonna be any better but i got these two because i thought they were cute like obviously this is like flat and wide and this one's like more chunky which i'm interested in because my other ones are not like that and i think that like these are really cute and i like the size and then i got this yesterday I, oh my god look at how cute I don't have a name. I think it's a boy, but so cute. It was $20. It's a little much, but now I have a nut. I also have the like pickle and an egg. I got, I actually got a pair of shoes. This was really like impulse, but my mom actually bought these for me when I found them. They are these Nikes, pink, like a dusty rose pink. Cause I know the lighting's not great, but, and they're platform. I don't exactly know what type of shoe this is. It's, I know they're not Air Forces, they're Court Vision in pink Oxford. Um, they were so cute and I was like, I immediately need to get these. So I did. I'm just gonna like hold it up from here. I found a new suitcase because I've been needing like a larger suitcase. Um, I only have a carry-on and now that i have like the american airlines credit card i get a free checked bag and i like 
practically only fly on American. So I was like, I that would just be nice because I checked my carry on, but then I had a duffel bag that I had to carry. And then my backpack like was my personal item. And I was like, because it's just like I had, there were too many things that I needed or that I was bringing. I guess I didn't need like half of it, but <laughs> I still like feel like I did a good job packing though. But anyway, there was too much to fit in the carry on. So that, hence the duffel bag. But then the duffel bag was like so hard to carry and it was like heavy and just like with the backpack, it just didn't work. Um, so, and I've been needing a new suitcase anyway, like a big one because of traveling. Just like if I am going somewhere longer, then like a few days it's just nice to have that option and it was pink and adorable and it's a good brand so but yeah i'm gonna go cut this and then pack up my bag i'm gonna bring the seven year slip because i finished the other three books that i brought um and i don't want to bring my kindle i'm just gonna bring the seven year slip which i'm really excited about to start it and then i'll bring my hat a towel, sunglasses. I don't know what else. I don't really know if I need anything else. Oh, I should probably bring sunscreen. I gotta find that. So that's my plan for today. I literally didn't say a single thing yesterday after I checked in saying that I was going to go swimming with my friend. Um, But that was really fun. That was a good, like, that was a good day. Um, The swimming was really nice. We read we just hung out it was good we went downtown we stopped and grabbed um a coffee we grabbed a coffee before but then we went to a different place after and grabbed one um and i'm actually heading back to that same place right now because i'm leaving in two hours my flight takes off i originally my flight was at 6 a.m and i was gonna have to get up at like 4 30 or like 4 15 for some reason yesterday like last night it got delayed and I was like so glad that I even saw it when I did because I had like my sleep do not disturb on and like I didn't see the notification um but then like I checked because I was like seeing if somebody had answered my text so thank god I saw it but it got pushed back to 10 like 10 30 or no it got push, pushed back to like 11 and then I was like okay and then I kind of was like freaking out because it was like you can only like if you're gonna change your flight there's like a 5 31 tonight or just tomorrow and I was like I can't like I work tomorrow so I was like I can't go back tomorrow um so I called and whatnot and I was like can I just change the second flight because my layover is in Philly there's at least like three different flights from Philly to Raleigh this afternoon but like it hadn't updated on my end. I guess they ended up rescheduling me onto that flight automatically, but it hadn't updated on my end. So I was like, okay, so I'm gonna miss it. And it's only giving me options to like book basically tomorrow. I was like, okay, I can't do that. And I didn't want to get in like late tonight. So anyway, and then I woke up and it got pushed back another 30 minutes, but that's okay. I woke up around eight. Um, I got ready. I literally just did like, I usually don't ever look put together at the airport because usually my flights are super early and I'm like tired and whatnot. But I did do some makeup just because it's, like, it's the daytime. Like, I don't want to feel gross and, like, whatnot. Like, traveling already kind of makes you feel gross. So, I was, like, I want to, like, at least be a little put together. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to leave to go to the airport or in, like, 45 minutes. Um, it's 9.15. I'll get there around 10. Honestly, I probably don't even need to get there that early. But I will because you never know. But I'm heading to this, like, coffee shop bakery um company that I love and I there's like one pastry that they make that I really want I yet couldn't get it yesterday because they were out like if you go later in the afternoon they're out of most of their pastries it's gonna be like a cinnamon circle with like raisins and uh it is and custard I think it's so good and I need to go before they're sold out um I can't imagine they will be it's only nine but that's what I'm going to go grab. I'm not going to get coffee because I don't think I'll be able to drink it. Well, maybe I will. But I kind of like getting coffee at the airport, but it is more expensive. I might get a coffee. I might as well. It's cheaper. I have time to drink it. I have like an hour to drink it almost. So, okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go. i got to stop rambling. But... 
yeah also it is like beautiful outside it is literally like 75 there's light breeze it's not like super super direct sun but it is sunny i love it i love it i love it i love it love it okay bye i'm doing horribly with updating this vlog this week but i, I mean like yesterday was a travel day so um I'm clearly sweaty. I just had my pure bar class. Um, I am so dead. That was like, first of all, I haven't been in a week because I was gone. And then also it was just like a hard class in general. I'm like, I'm actually like dead. <laughs> but yesterday I ended up getting home around like four um, after I like Ubered and everything. So yeah, it wasn't that bad, honestly. Um, but then I unpacked right away. I was like really tired, so I just kind of hung out. Um, but it is one o'clock. I work at four and I have some things to do. I don't have that many groceries, so I think I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's um, and just pick up, I'm out of milk, so I need milk. I want to get some bread, some lunch meat, maybe a veggie or two. Actually, I have, oh, I should have checked. I have Brussels sprouts, but I don't, I've had them for a while. I don't know if they're, they've gone bad. But I usually feel like they're not that bad. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I also woke up early and I was like, I was exhausted. I've had like a little bit of a lingering headache just from, I think I'm just a little bit sleep, like I'm a little bit tired, but I woke up at, I got about way later than I should have. I woke up at 10 and then I had a job interview actually at 1030. So that was about an hour and that was on Zoom and that was good and then hence also the makeup i normally don't work out in makeup but you can clearly see that i'm i'm wearing some um but i'm actually gonna head to starbucks first before i head to trader joe's because it is free straw day my friend told me that um so i might as well go also i do really need a coffee and again i don't have milk at home right now um i have to go get that and i just like really would rather get my coffee and then i'm also gonna get water because i'm literally like out but yeah and then like i said i work at I work at four, so I have to go back and shower and stuff once I get back from the grocery store, but I just wanna get a few staples um, for the week slash my busy um, weekend with work. But I'm not gonna do like a full shop because I do have like a decent amount of things. I just need to stock up on a couple little things. I'm gonna head there. I'm gonna head to Starbucks first. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Definitely coffee of some sort. Okay, I just got back from Trader Joe's. This is my coffee. I got a vanilla cream cold brew, but with the non-dairy. This is my free straw. Was it worth spending six dollars when I wasn't going to? No, but I'm not. I'm not unhappy about it. And then I did just get. I went to my tenth pure class, so I got socks. Um, I'll give you a little haul, and then I really gotta go shower and get ready. Started off strong. I got some kettle chips because I like to. I like to. If I want a snack, I'm not a big snacker, but if I want a snack, I want like something usually salty and crispy, like crunchy, and that's this. Um, but I don't want necessarily like a bunch of flavor or like something that's gonna make me like feel gross after. I got some bread, sourdough. This is literally such good sourdough. And then I've never gotten these before, but I love applesauce, it's the apple cinnamon fruit crushers. So they're like the go-go squeeze. This was an impulse buy. I also actually ended up buying more than I was anticipating, but now I'll be set for longer. So I got two artichokes. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. And then I picked up some chicken taquitos. These are so good. Good news. My Brussels sprouts are okay. They're still good, but I should use them soon. Then I got some spinach. I love cooking like spinach just on the stove with like olive oil and salt and pepper in the morning with my breakfast. I think it's so good. And it's like such an easy source of iron to consume. So that's important. I got a couple of tomatoes. They're beef steak, I believe. The almond milk that I went for, of course. I literally had like three things that I actually absolutely had to get. So if I didn't walk out there with this, that would be bad. This, I'm also trying something new. It's this like, chicken like it's a marinated chicken it's savory herb chicken thighs sounds good um it wasn't expensive this will act this will be good for like a few meals and because i didn't want just like plain chicken and i was like i don't really have any 
specific recipes with it, but like this will be good. I hope this will be a good like thing. And then this is also something I get every time I go because sometimes they don't have them. I usually, if I'm out, I'll grab two. Um, I have one or at least half of one. So I picked up this frozen, like lightly salted edamame and it's so delicious. I just love having it because it's like such a good, like it's such a quick snack. Um, and then I picked up two packs of turkey. This one's smoked. This one's just oven roasted. I like, I love their lunch meat. It's like a pretty good price and I can make like three or four sandwiches from this. And then I need to stock up on just like a few frozen meals. So I have this fiery chicken vindaloo, which I've never had before, but it sounded good. And then of course the butter chicken, which is delish. I was looking for the like tofu green curry, but I didn't see it. It was pretty busy. So, you know, it might've just been, I missed it. Um, and then the last thing, which also was kind of an impulse, but it sounds good was a pineapple. It's not quite ripe, but I'm gonna put it on the counter and hopefully it ripens up so I can eat it in a few days. But yeah, that's my haul. It honestly wasn't very expensive. It was all honestly a pretty good price. I think it was like $62, which honestly like, oh, I have the receipt. Yeah, it was $62.80, which I feel like for the amount that I got is pretty good. Um, and now I'm stocked up. It'll like, I definitely have meals for the next little while. The only thing I might have to pick up is eggs. I didn't know how many I had, but like, I'm not gonna have eggs today, so. I have to leave in about an hour, so I think I'm gonna go shower. I am really hungry, but I'm gonna go shower and then get ready and then I'll eat. Anyway, that's my haul. Good morning, it is 9.25, I just, finished brushing my teeth and washing my face. Um, I have therapy at 10, so I have a little bit of time. Normally I just wake up and go right into therapy, but I wanted to like give myself a little bit of time and like have a morning. I think I'm gonna read a little bit. I'm gonna make my coffee. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Um, first of all, I use, I have like a Breville espresso machine that I use. I don't know. I'm gonna be so honest, I don't know which one it is. It's pretty basic, it literally just has like one slot and then like four buttons on it. But I just, when I was at home, I got some more espresso from a really good um, coffee place. It's, um, and they honestly, they supply a lot of the coffee shops like in Vermont. Um, oh my God, it smells so good which is like so nice because I, I had espresso from a different um, coffee shop here that I've like been to and I liked their coffee, but when I made my own like espresso drink here, it was just like bad. Um, I really did not enjoy it. So I was like, yeah, priority number one, gotta get more espresso while I'm at home. So I did, I got all of this and there's actually a little bit more and I'm like so excited to have like a good coffee because it's been a while because I ran out of this probably back in like October like literally in October um and I've just been trying to find like good coffee since then but it's been rough so I'm gonna I just did I'm gonna do two a double shot Okay, and while that's going, I think I'm gonna grab this cup. Sometimes I'll we'll grab a bigger one, but. Okay, and then honestly, I don't even like do that much. So mm -hmm. I put some ice and then I have my almond milk. I should have grabbed one that was like not like jacked up on the edge. Like when you pick it up, um, it's like coming apart, but whatever. Okay, this is like my favorite almond milk. I once got, I like ran out of milk and it's just the Trader Joe's original almond milk, but I ran out of milk and I went to Harris Teeter and I just got the Harris Teeter almond milk. Disgusting. It was literally water. So never doing that again. Um, but, and then I take this brown sugar, 
oat creamer from, again, Trader Joe's. And I just put a little bit of that in. I got my, oh, I need a straw. Got my shot of espresso. Perfect. Oh my God, the ice is all stuck together. There we go. I'm gonna try it because sometimes I need to add more creamer. I might add like a little bit more, but oh my god, genuinely, the difference between good espresso and bad espresso is like so jarring. This is actually delicious, and before I had to like force myself to finish my coffees because I thought they were so bad. Mmm. Tastes a little funky just because I literally just washed, washed, brushed my teeth, but it's still so good. Oh my God. I'm back. I'm like, this is literally, I said, I was like, I think I just said it on Snapchat, like a, a vlog to my friends. I was like, I've perfected my coffee recipe. Um, like this cup specifically, because then I still get coffee flavor because I'm just adding less milk. Um, and like a little bit of the creamer because the creamer is just for the flavor. And I was like, I perfected it. Like, it's so good. Like I'm like, I look forward to my coffee every day. And then like after that ran out, I just like got other stuff. And like, then I was like, this is disgusting. I literally was like hating making my coffee. I was like, I can't, but like, this is like my ideal. Like, look at the color. That's like perfect. Mm. Cause I like, I'm someone who actually like likes the coffee flavor. I know not everyone does. Some people just drink it for like the caffeine, but I like love the taste of it. And when I was like drinking like milky water, I was like, that's disgusting. I don't want this. Like I'd add like creamer to make it taste better. And then it'd be like too sweet from the creamer. So I was like, okay, but we're back. We're better than ever. I'm so happy with how this turned out. So I'm gonna drink this and just sit and read for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna read Not In Love by Allie Hazelwood. I started this a few, I started this like the week it came out, which was at least a few weeks ago now. And I'm on page 46 now. I read like 15, no, I don't even think I read that many. I think I read like maybe eight or nine pages yesterday, like right, I had like 10 minutes before I had to leave um, to go to work, but I'm not like obsessed with it so far, but like, I'm also not really started. I don't hate it at all. Um, I'm just not like immediately connected to everything in it and all the characters. Oh my God, I kind of match. Um, but I love Allie Hazelwood's writing and her books just read so fast for me. I've been trying to be a lot better about reading books that I'm purchasing specifically the new releases it's like I'm already anticipating the new release so I want to read the new releases before I get into like my backlog of my physical TBR um and I've honestly been doing such a good job I read Reckless I read Summer Romance I read Just for Summer Funny Story the rule book and so that I'm like they're not even on my TBR really but this one's been sitting for a little bit and I'm like I went and I got it like basically when it came out so I want to read it and finish it but there are other books that I'm very excited to read soon. So hopefully I can get through this. Um, probably not very much today because I do have a busy day. I have therapy at 10 and then I'm going to have um, Pure Bar at 12. And then... Oh, and then I just work at 4 but I'm closing. So I'll be back. I'll get back at like midnight, um, which is not fun. But... But yeah, I got my book, I got my coffee. I might have a little snack. I should probably eat something. We'll see, I'm gonna read. Hopefully I'll be able to update you guys later if I remember, honestly, I've been so busy that it's just like sometimes hard to. Good morning. Oh, is this coming off? I hope not. Um, it's like 11.30. I did just get out of bed like literally 20 minutes ago. I'm exhausted. Um, <laughs> I worked last night, I closed. So I got home like after midnight. Um, 
I work again at four. So, you know, I was going to like maybe go to like Barnes and Noble, do some work, just like read, do whatever. But I think it's a stay inside day because it is raining. It's been raining a lot lately. Um, the other day on my way home from work, I actually got so stressed because I could not see. Couldn't see the road. And like I literally could see like a sliver of the line. Yeah, it was really stressful. And it was like, just like, it was so long and it wouldn't let up. And I was like, okay, I'm going 30 on the interstate. So that's lovely. But anyway, I have, I have a big boy today. I have um, a dirty ice chai with my creamer. So like a brown sugar, um, dirty ice chai. And it kind of tastes like fall and I'm like not mad about it. My nails match. Um, anyway, I edited that video yesterday. I'm gonna get that uploaded today. I just need to do a thumbnail. Then I'll probably just read, um, honestly, or I do have a tote bag that I wanna paint. So maybe I'll paint, I haven't painted in a little while, but we'll see. Um, originally I was supposed to go to a pure bar class this morning at 9.30, but I canceled it last night just because after I'm closing, like I know that I'm just so tired. And for some reason, my body was just like so like affected. Like I literally am like sore. I mean, I think I'm sore from the workout a couple days ago, but I'm like, I'm sore. My feet hurt like more than they typically do because I think like I took a week off of work. So I wasn't standing on my feet for eight hours. I'm going to do my video so I can get that uploaded. And then I'm gonna read more of this. I'm on page. 67. So again, I haven't read that much more um, because I ended up just editing yesterday. Instead, I didn't really have much time to read this after um, therapy. I read it a little bit before. I'm going to do my thumbnail and I'm probably going to watch. I might turn on some like something to watch, but we'll see. I really, I do want to read. Like I feel like I just haven't had a time to like sit down and read. I've only finished one book this month so far and usually I feel like I'm way ahead but uh, you know I'm okay like taking a step back and not um oh no I finished two I'm taking I'm okay like taking a step back and not really like reading as much as I have been not because I don't want to read but it's just like I've been busy so I'm trying to be easy on myself wow. low-key I love the vibes I'm vibing I got my it's like, it feels like fall almost, but it's not obviously. Comment down below if you're, first of all, if you're a Love Island person, if you're a Love Island girly, but also comment down below which Love Island girl you are. Are you a US, a UK, or an Australia? I know everyone has like their opinions. I feel like you're just, you're one of them. You're literally all just one. I only have two more to catch up on. I prefer Love Island UK, but I will watch the USA. I have not tried the Australia one, but comment, I'm curious because I feel like you like what you like and then you're just opinionated that that one's the best one, but like they're all the same, but like it's different. But I love the UK one for some reason. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna vibe. I'm gonna have myself a day and I'll keep you guys updated. I will say, I don't know how, I haven't talked about this yet. Rebecca Yaros finally revealed the cover of Onyx Storm. I'll put it right here in case you haven't seen it. Stunning, stunning. I think this is easily my favorite cover because the other two are like fine. They're just like a little bit more boring, but this one, Anyway, I have, I don't know if you have to, I think you might only, I think you might have to have Amazon Prime for this because my friend couldn't do the order this, but I could. I pre-ordered it the other day. So I ended up pre-ordering one for her as well. It was like $20. So it was like 40% off. I was like, uh, yes, I'm gonna do that because I was like, there's no way I'm not getting the special edition with the sprayed edges because it is stunning. So I need January to come immediately. Please and thank you. Um, yeah, I just need to touch on that because I've been like, I've just been waiting for that reveal because like I knew it was just gonna be so good. Um, anyway, and I honestly, 
I would not be surprised if this is gonna be like Evonic Storm was my favorite. Um, yeah. So I think right now I'm gonna do a little bit of my reading journal. So I um I still need to do my like Molly's reading journal page, but I haven't done that yet. Um I can mark off some of this stuff on the first page. Let's do it together, actually. Okay, so 2024 anticipated releases. I have Reckless, I've done that. I haven't finished The Housemaid is Watching, but I did start it the other day. Um, just like casually reading it as I feel. And then the only other one that hasn't come out that I haven't read is Nothing Like the Movies. So we're doing good on that list. I only put six for that. Um, <clears throat> and then Reading Goals, read a full series. I have done that, so perfect um I've read a few actually let's see which ones I've read I've read the Chestnut Spring series I finished A Guitar, but I didn't start it this year so I don't count that finished um A Good Girl's Guide to Murder honestly that might be it oh no I finished the Naturals series I'm caught up on the Vancouver Storm series I finished the Briar U series I did I'm caught up on Icebreaker or the Maple Hill series. Um, a lot of, oh, I'm caught up on the Powerless series. There's a lot of books that I, or there's a lot of series that I'm like literally just need to read one more book. So maybe I'll make a video of like finishing series, but some of them I, I'm caught up on a lot of them. I'm caught up on the Fourth Wing or the Empyrean series. Um, but like some of them that I'm caught up on, but I know that there's another one coming out. It's like, I'm not, like obviously I haven't read that yet. Read 20 physical books, I've definitely done that. I can mark that off. Read a new genre. I don't think I've done that yet. Um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, 52 books. I have read 52 books. And then 10 new authors, I'm pretty positive I have. Let's see, even just looking at the series. I've read 10 new authors. That's the only ones, even just the series. Okay, 10 new authors, perfect. So the only one I need to do still is read a new genre. Um, then I have my 24 books to read in 2024. I don't know if I've updated this. I don't know if there really is anything to update. Oh, it's, oh yeah, actually I have two, perfect. I thought it was just gonna be Reckless, but I read Reckless, obviously. Oh. And then I actually, on the plane back, I also read The Seven Year Slip. So that's cool. I have, let's see how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm reading one right now. Next one is this library. So I'm gonna have to go to Goodreads. So I basically, what I do is I fill it in based on the rating. So my rating system is right here. I don't know. If that's even like focused my rating system's right there and so the colors that correlate are gonna go here because it says i'm at 88 right now um i'm gonna do this one later because i don't feel like doing that right now book tracker oh i already filled that in i've read i read tw no i didn't did i fill that one in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> what is wrong with me? I'm like fucking every, I'm literally like overlapping. <clears throat> I read Betting on You. I read The Summer Bro. <sighs> I like am, I had a brain fart, I guess. I was gonna say, this was like a lot of books and I was like, I don't think I read all of these this month. Okay. That's better. <laughs> How many books is this? I can fill this one in. That's that's literally how we started this whole, that's why I even got that, okay. And then I have to update my series tracker. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, genre tracker. So that's what it looks like now and then my book graveyard dnfs did i dnf any books <sighs> let's see technically i don't think so okay 
So <laughs> I was going through and like updating just the rest of the stuff that I needed to. I was like doing this and I was like reviewing this and then I was like, the numbers are off. So are all the ratings. Like I was going through, I'm like, this is just too confusing. I also don't love like my doodles. Like the page itself is fine, but like the doodles and whatnot, I'm not a fan of. And so I was like, I ripped out a piece and I was like, I'll just put it on top. But then I realized that the back was this book tracker. And I absolutely hate this because I messed it up like so bad. And also I did not read 22. I don't know what I've been thinking. I didn't, I, I think I've just been like counting books that I'd finished at the end of the month before, because I'm like, these two months, May and June, or April and May are just wrong. And I don't know how I didn't figure that out before, but I mean, you saw, I was confused. Anyway, um, I'm not a fan of these pages, but I can't take it out because of the stuff on either side of it. But um, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put in the library and the book tracker, which I'm gonna have to do kind of back a ways, which is fine. I'm gonna do it after like all these spreads. Like this is my funny story spread that I'm obsessed with. Um, and then my mid-year tag. So I'm after those, I'm gonna put it after those. I think I'm gonna put the book tracker on this page and then I'm gonna put the library on this one so I can do like a bigger kind of spread with like more doodles and whatnot because I also didn't draw, I didn't um, draw enough books in the first place. Cause you know, I didn't know. So I do have to start getting ready for work shortly, but I think what I'm gonna do is do my book tracker right now and like do something that's like way nicer, obviously. Um, yeah, I haven't read even 20 books in a month. I think my most was 19. I don't know what I'm thinking here or what I was thinking, but it's gotta go. Like I've gotta fix it. I didn't realize it was like so messed up before. Um, but I don't mind fixing it, obviously. Uh, right now, I'm going to focus on my book tracker. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll show you guys when I'm done, but then I do have to go get ready for work. So we'll see how much I can get done. Mm -hmm.